Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make collage animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and in this video, I will show step-by-step -step animation. Let's first of all go to project and right mouse, import, file, and we have some PNG and Photoshop layers. Let's first select this door Photoshop layer and change import as Composition let analyze sizes, click import and click OK. Let's create new composition, add the name main and sizes full HD size and time duration 15 seconds. Click OK. So in this time open door composition and we have three layers. Let's see. This is right, left and wood layer. Select three layers, let's copy back to main and control V for paste. So let's enable title action save and move to center. Okay, let's create new background layer. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add name background, click OK. Move to behind of layers and go to FX Presses, search effect fill. Select fill, let's use for background and go to color, let's change color like this. Click OK. So, select this background, let's Ctrl D for duplicate, change layer name grid. And go to fill, delete. Go to FS Presses, source effect grid. And select this grid from generate folder, let's use for grid solid layer. And change size form with slider. And change slider size like this. Ok, for now let's turn off title action save and opacity change opacity like this. Ok, pretty good. Let's select this layer grid and background, right mouse and pre compass, add name background. Click OK. And select these all layers. Let's click this icon for 3 layers. If you not see this part, click toggle switch modes. And select all layers. Let's click this checkbox for 3 layer. So in this time, select these left and right layers, go to solo, ok, go to window, open animation comes to 3 anchor point mover, select right layer and click this anchor for move to right anchor point. Also we can do this manually, let's select this left, go to pen behind icon and move to anchor point like this. But save my times, I use anchor point mover. Let's click here, also I will add link on the description below how to use anchor point mover or animation comes to 3. Let's unsolo and select this layer right, press P and move to front. Also select this left layer, let's press P and move to front. Ok, so in this time let's select these two layers and press R, open rotation. Let's create Y rotation and go to Fave Q frames and change Y rotation like this for open door and left Y rotation open like this. Okay, let's see. Nice. Select Q frames, make easy or click F9. Go to graph editor, select this graph and make graph for smooth animation. Let's preview animation. Okay, nice. So in this time, click this icon for back to Q frames and close these settings. And let's create new camera tool, right mouse, new and camera. Let's click open, don't change any settings. And for create camera movements, select camera 1, right mouse and go to camera and create orbit null. For move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pen behind icon for move to anchor point center for null object. Clicization tool. And first select these right and left layers. Link to wood, select wood layer, press P and move to down. And let's create new passing Q frame. Go to one second and move up. Let's enable title action save. Move up like this. And select Q frames, make easy. Go to graph editor, select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Let's preview animation. Back to Q frames, select last Q frame, move to right. Select these right and left doors, press U, select rotation Q frames, move right for perfect timing. Ok, 
and select this camera null, let's press P, go to here, and let's create new passing Q frame, go to 4 seconds, and let's zoom into door layers. Select Q frames, make easy. Let's preview animation. Okay, that's good. So, in this time, back to project and right mouse, import, file. Select this UST layer and import as footage. Click import and drag and drop our composition. Move to behind background. Okay, and click this icon for solid layer and press P. Let's change. Move to back. Okay, let's go to last keyframe. Okay, and let's press S, open scale and change scale value. And move to up. Select this layer, change main USD. And let's control D, change USD rotation. And select this US rotation. Click this icon for move the anchor point down. And let's see. Okay, and in this time select this US rotation. Let's press R. Go to here. Make X rotation and go to 5G frames and chain rotation 90. Let's see. Okay, we can change rotation a little bit like this. And select two frames, make easy. Okay, let's see timing. Select rotation two frame, move to left. Okay, that's good. So in this time, select two frames, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make more fast animation. Okay, that's good. Back to two frames and go to project, right mouse, import and file. Select this money and let's import and drag and drop composition and click this icon for solid layer. Press P and move to back. Okay. And let's press S, change scale. And go to here, change scale like this, and put here, and move to right layer. So, in this time, let's press P and make new patch in Q frame, move to up, and go to 10 Q frames. Let's move to down, okay, and go to 3 Q frames. For go to frame by frame Q frames, use paint down in keyboard. 1 to 3. And move to up. Again, 1 to 3. Move to down. Select Q frames, make easy. Or click F9. And select work area. Let's see. Okay, we have problem with last 3 Q frames. Select last 3 Q frames, right mouse, Q frame interpolation. Change current settings to linear. Click OK. Let's say again. Okay, that's good. And for create more natural filing animation, select two frames, go to graph editor, and select first two frame graph, move to right like this. And this graph move to right. Okay, this much more realistic. Back to two frames, let's go to last second and go to puppet pin. Let's add one puppet here and one here and here. Also, let's one here. And press U for CQ frames. Go to back, select all puppet pin Q frames, move to left, and go to next Q frame, select puppet pin. Let's move to right, go to next Q frame, move to left, and next Q frame, again move to right. Select Q frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And in this time, select this money. Let's control D for duplicate and move right. Again, control D, move to right. Select this money mid middle layer, press P. Select position two frames, go to last position and move to center like this. 
Again, select this money, press P, select position two frames, go to last position two frame, and move to right. Okay, that's good, and uh, let's close these settings. And go to FS Presses, search Effect Gaussian Blur. And select this Gaussian Blur, let's use for main USD. And after filing many layers, let's create blurness keyframe, press U for C active keyframes and go to here, change blue like this. Let's move to left this keyframe. Okay, that's good. Go to FS Presses, search black and white. Select black and white. Also, we can use for USD rotation and for main USD. Okay, and use for money layers. Nice. And go to back. Okay, nice. So back to project, right mouse, import and file. Select this dust and screen. Import and let's select this screen. Let's drag and drop our composition and press S, change scale and click toggle switch modes, change normal to add. Okay, nice. Also select this dust, let's use for our composition and press S, change scale, let's see. Okay, this is dust elements and change this add. Okay, nice. For this background, let's go to layer, new and solid. And click background, change name background to, click OK. And move to behind here, open background composition, select background, let's copy fill. And go to main, select background to and control V. nice so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck